Hello, my name is Bill Haley for the um, gun reform called Competitive Prisons. It's a reform on the prison in industry and um, not necessarily who goes to prison, but how prison is being done. I want there to be about a dozen different prison organizations, businesses, whatever you want to call it, that does the prisons. We're, I'll tell you how we can get paid. Um, well, you can read that in the bullet points. That's not what this video is about, the exact bullet points. But you can read them easy enough. But this one is going to be about the competition. Every business organization that provides prison services, um, we want to have them to have a competition, which means more money flowing to them. If they win the competition, if they get better ratings and the and the like, more people or they just have the reputation uh, for for these um, perspectives for these things I'm going to read. Um, if they have a lower recidivism rate, so. These will, once they take take effect, they will have start having a history. So where the people go, through the prisoners going through this system, will, will they have a lower recidivism rate? Will they, um, are they going to help um, do res restoration of the um, person that they harmed? So if they harm somebody, are they going to do some type of restoration? Are they going to do some comp type of compensation? Um, reparation to the victim. So, um, Oh, restoration is a little bit different than reparations to the victim. So these are a little bit different. Um, and the personal long-term prospering of the convicted. Now, a lot of people say, like, oh, I don't care about the convicted. Um, let them suffer. Well, I, I understand that. But if you allow just the person to suffer, they might. It's, it's going to lead them into more of a life of crime when they get back out. If you have a long-term prospering of the convicted, um, where some you have a jobs waiting for them and you have a system for jobs waiting for them and you work them um, long hours and they just don't have that time to get in trouble or they, they don't have to go back to their life of crime or their neighborhood to even live um, and then get get into that trouble. So long the long personal long term prospering of the convicted will lo were lower that um, recidivism rates. So what are we doing to get people who go through the system not to go through the system again uh, by harming others? Because if you go through the system again, you're robbing, raping, um, thuggery, whatever the case may be, murdering, um, holdups hold and, and the like, um, theft, uh, and you're har harming other people in society. So we want lower that. Uh, so there would be a competition between the different pre prison organizations that supplying the prisons. So each prison organization is going to have their different way of doing all um, doing prison to get better um, results on that. And there'll be competitive rating agencies dealing with that. So it's not just one rating agency with the one um, set of um, regulations or um, standards to meet to get better ratings. It's going to be do a dozen. So people cannot just um, gear their um, gear their policies to, to manipulate or um, get one over on the um, ratings. There'll be a dozen different ones. So there's a lot to on that, a lot to it on that one. So if you're on Facebook, you can probably scroll up and down and get these um, bullet points easy to read. Um, but there'll be private prisons um, to a large degree or prison organizations. It, they'll be kind of private, um, semi-private if you want to call it that way. There'll be proper training and oversight, significant, a lot more civil liberties being protected. I know there's a lot of problems with um, civil liberties in the prisons not being um, done right. And yeah, I want them done a lot better. I don't want people abused in the prison. I know people like, well, if they harm somebody, let them uh, be miserable in prison. Well, it's going to result in them coming out a hard, hardened criminal um, and do worse when they come back out and harm more people. So, you know, we don't want them harmed. Um, yeah, unpleasant life in the prison for sure, but not where they're feeling so unsafe that they're willing to do um, more more crime. Okay, uh, funding is significantly based on results, uh, and some of those results are what we're talking about right there. So there's a lot to it. So who does the... Um, parole the best on what type of parole officers, what type of work are they going to be given them? And yes, they can work these people. Um, and, but if you just have them work in a manual labor type of job where they're not getting trained 
are they really going to have a long-term prospering when they get out? So there, there'll be a lot to it, to, um, to how we work these people. Again, standards, limitations. You don't want to work them 100 hours um, a week type of thing. But, hey, 70 hours a week for a prisoner is not too, hard, too long to work somebody. Uh, you, you might think it's too much. I, I don't, but that's why we have private, um, competitive prisons. Again, there will be some where you can't abuse them. But anyway, there's a lot to, lot to it. Um, rating floors will ensure prison abuse is appropriately addressed. So that's just one of the bullet points. Um, so if you don't like the way I said it, hey, put a limitations on how many hours you're working. Um, I would say 72 would be at, at maybe my highest where I don't want people going above that. But hey, if they, if they really like to work, there's people working way more than 72 hours a week right now freely doing it because they just love to work. Um, okay, a lot more to be seen on Haley2024.org. Uh, please consider donations if you like this kind of um, reform, more freedom, more enterprise, free enterprise, better prisons out there. I have a lot of reforms within Haley2024, and I really want to uh, push that out on social media, get somebody have some people working with me to push these ideas, get them more compact, um, more um, tightened up on these ideas, and um, just push these ideas. Until the next video.